So your twelfth question of exercise three point three. You are once again given a quadrilateral. Since SP is uh, given to be parallel to RQ, side SP is parallel to RQ. This is a trapezium. One pair of uh, sides are parallel, so it's a trapezium. You should find the angle P, the measure of angle P, and the measure of angle S. So what is given to you? Given SP is parallel to RQ, and also given that angle Q is equal to one twenty one thirty degrees. Angle Q is equal to one thirty degrees. So what do we know? Angle P plus angle Q should be equal to one eighty degrees. Why? You should write the reason as angles on the same side of the transversal. So now can we find angle P? Yes, because we know angle Q. Angle P plus one thirty is equal to one eighty. Or angle P is equal to one eighty minus one thirty, which is fifty degrees. So we have found angle P. Now the other thing which we have to find is measure of angle S. What do we know about angle R? It's ninety degrees. So applying the same property once again, angle R plus angle S is equal to one eighty degrees. Once again. Please mention the same property which you are using. Angles on the same side of the transversal. So, can we find angle yes now? Yes. Angle R is ninety degrees. So, ninety degrees plus angle S is equal to one eighty degrees, or angle S is equal to one eighty minus ninety ninety degrees. So your sum is complete. You have found angle S is ninety degrees and angle P as fifty degrees. But the question uh, does not stop there. They have also asked you if you find measure of angle R. That is, if you know angle R, is there more than one method to find measure of angle P? Yes. There is another method to find measure of angle P if you know angle S also. What is that method? We know that PQRS is a quadrilateral. So we know the angle sum property in a quadrilateral. What is it? The sum of the angles in a quadrilateral is equal to three sixty degrees. So PQRS is a quadrilateral. Therefore, sum of measures of all angles equal to three sixty degrees. Angle sum property. Now, what do we know? What are the angles we know? It's given angle Q is equal to one thirty degrees, angle R is ninety degrees, and it's also we have also found out that angle S is equal to ninety degrees. So, angle P plus one thirty plus ninety plus ninety. Is equal to three hundred and sixty degrees. So very easily we can find angle P now. If you sum all those angles, you get three hundred and ten degrees. So angle P is equal to three sixty minus three ten is equal to fifty degrees. So there is one more way to find angle P if you know the other three angles.